Hey guys, Thandy Moss here. Um, today I'm gonna do a video on storage of big swim baits. Um, you know, Huddleston's for example, like this eight inch Huddleston and Lux right here. Um, they got fins, and if you bend the fins, uh, it won't swim straight. Or just expensive glide baits, you know. Um, Matt Allen and Tim Little on Tactical Bass, and go check out their channel, guys. They got a really good channel. Um. They, uh, they did a video on this. Well, let's say you don't have the pegs and stuff needed. Um, and you kind of need just like a makeshift way to get it done while you're waiting on pegs. Um, basically, you're still going to need a peg board and you're still going to need pegs. But just simple pegs you can go buy at Ollie's or any convenience store, uh, hardware store, uh, you can do this with. So basically, what you're going to need is about, I'd say about two and a half, three foot. Uh, 14 um, pound minimum mono just some cheap line uh, something that won't break though and uh, yeah so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna double up about a foot of it um, then you're just gonna wrap it around your finger like that two fingers wrap it around and you got that loop and you're gonna take the loop and put it right in between your two fingers And when you do that, let me get it. Or if sometimes if you're having a hard time, you can pull the wraps off your fingers and then stick the loop through them. Just like that. Then you're just going to pull it down. Now you got this loop right here. Well, that's going to hang on your peg wall. So if you want to, you can leave this tag on here, whatever you want to do. I just cut it off so it ain't so much hanging from the wall. And um, now you got this loop with still about a foot of line up under the loop. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But then uh, you just take your bait, it's tangled up in some line. This right here, it happens to be a River CS Waiver 200. Have a review up on my channel with this guy, so please go check that out. And all you're going to do really from there is just tie your knot that you like to tie. Um, for mono and fluorocarbon, I always tie a San Diego jam. That's the knot that John Cruz showed me. I liked, I love that knot so much. Uh, for, for, uh, for braid, I tie a double Palomar knot. But yeah, basically, you only had to go around five times. Stick it in the bottom loop. Sorry, guys, I have a little bit of trouble with this. And then you got to stick it back out through the top loop. And then you want to wet your knot. Just pull it tight. Slide it down on your eye. Cut your tag end off. And so basically, you have just a little loop up here. You see I got my hand in it. Got a little bit of line. Tied to your glide bait, and then all you had to do from there, just hang it off the hanger. It's that simple, guys. So that's a little makeshift way to hang up your expensive swim bait so um, they don't get messed up. So please be sure to like, comment, rate, subscribe, and this is Nathaniel Moss signing off.